Effective the first of this year, the Boy Scouts of America said no youth may be denied membership on the basis of sexual orientation or preference alone. In a written statement, they say the new policy allows kids who sincerely want to be a part of scouting to experience this life-changing program while remaining true to the long-standing virtues of the Boy Scouts of America. But the membership policy does not allow gay adults to become scout leaders. Here with more on the issue are former Eagle Scout Chance Kawar and Tyler Dillon Hyde with the group Scouts with the group Scouts for Equality. Welcome. Thank you. Tyler, with more than two and a half million Boy Scouts in America, what do we know about how uh, this new policy is being rolled out? Well, it's brand new, of course, so we're only a week into it, but so far it seems to be pretty smooth. Um, Scouts for Equality has received a number of thanks from Scouts, obviously, who for the first time are able to serve openly in their troops. And right now we're focused on making sure that the Boy Scouts are being accommodating to gay Scouts and are really helping this process along. Okay. And Chance, you were kicked out of the Scouts last year after you came out openly about being uh, gay. Right. So what happened there? Uh, so I earned my uh, Eagle Scout in uh, January of 2012 after being actively involved in the organization for uh, over 10 years. Um, and, and after I earned my Eagle Scout, uh, I wanted to continue to stay active in scouting, but uh, I felt like, uh, as someone who was gay, but had never come out of the closet uh, within my troop, I had a responsibility to speak up on this important issue, especially because uh, it had become uh, a topic in the national spotlight. And so I published an editorial in the Union Tribune um, uh, sharing my sexual orientation and, and voicing my support for a membership policy change. And you were asked to leave then? Uh, about three days after my editorial, my scoutmaster emailed me and, and requested I leave the organization. Which you did. Now, this new policy does not extend to scout leaders <coughs> uh, right now. Chance, why do you think it should? Uh, I think that's uh, the, the main reason is it's sending a mixed message to, to scouts within the organization. Uh, on the one hand, uh, gay youth are, are allowed to be a part, uh, and on the other hand, gay adults are not allowed. Um, so you're still telling uh, gay youth that they're somehow not uh, as important or worthy uh, as straight scouts to be a part of the organization. And, and so I think uh, we really need to change the dialogue on that. And I think this is an important first step. Uh, but it's important also that we, we make sure the progress extends to gay adults. Because uh, there are parents, uh, you know, maybe a scout has two moms who wants to be a part of the organization. Uh, there might be a scout who is, is aging up to after he gets his Eagle Scout and he turns 18 he would then be kicked out of the organization if he was gay. Uh, so these are important questions we need to look at. I see. And Tyler, the BSA says that 98 to 99 percent of their troops have not been impacted, as you were mentioning, uh, by this change. But one local troop did lose its sponsorship because Ranch View Baptist Church uh, won't renew the Scouts' charter. Uh, the church didn't re return our calls. We, uh, we asked them to be mm -hmm. a part of this conversation. Do you think other troops in the county here in San Diego will, will uh, face similar opposition? I don't think they will see very many of them. And we always knew that there would be some conservative churches who might choose to opt out. But I think on the other side, there are many progressive churches, um, some of whom have not been in scouting for a while because of this issue, and who probably will return to scouting. And I know that uh, at our own church, First Unitarian Universalist in San Diego, we have not had the scouts on campus, but are now deciding that we'll probably welcome troops who have been ejected from other churches. So it might balance out exactly. at, at some point, I see. I want to ask both of you this. Trail Life USA is a newly formed Christian program that offers alternative to uh, uh, an alternative, they say, to Boy Scouts. Its chairman has said he is concerned, and this is his words, that Scouts' new policy could lead to openly gay uh, Scouts abusing young boys. How do you, let's start with you, Chance, how do you, would you, how do you want to respond to that? Uh, I just don't think there's any merit to that statement. Uh, the, the Scouts already have in place uh, uh, very good policies to protect scouts and make sure that their uh, scouting is a safe environment for them. Uh, the youth protection guidelines uh, make sure that scouts uh, can feel safe and not have to worry about being uh, harassed by anyone. Uh, we have policies in place like too deep leadership, which means that any time a scout is, is on a, a scouting related activity, they're always accompanied by at least two adults. Um, so that would prevent any kind of potential uh, predatory actions. And so I think we should look to the existing uh, policies instead of trying to label people for being something they're not. I see. Well, since we're uh, out of time, and that, that answered that pretty clearly, Tyler, uh -huh. let me, let's end on this one. There's um, some upcoming changes in leadership uh, at the national level. Tell us, tell us what's going on there. There is. Um, Robert Gates, who was our defense secretary um, and who was the person charged with um, ending Don't Ask, Don't Tell and decades of discrimination in the military, will soon be the president of the Boy Scouts of America. 
and that's an important change. I think most people feel the change in the military went very well, and the uh, Boy Scouts shouldn't be um, even equivalent challenge to that. So I think we look forward to progress on this and progress on the leadership issue as well. One step at a time, I see. Right. I see. Well, Tyler Dillon Hyde and Chance Kawar, thank you both so much. Thanks thank so much. You.